Hello and welcome back to the next part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Let's Play. And... Can you the Wizard campaign? First, I'm just gonna show something. Basically, the campaign for this series is just... From Duelist Kingdom, through Battle City, and then just the final duel in the series. It seems they skip over everything. It's bugs me they always skip over the fill in the games. I, I like the fill arcs. I can only think of one game, that's Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour for Nintendo DS that actually used the um, filler characters. Also, I'm pressing um, Square, I can switch this character I'm playing as, but you don't get the cutscenes and stuff when you don't play as the right character. So, go on to this. After his win against Seto Kaiba, Yui was puzzled to see a packet somewhere Excellent impact says the creator of Duel Monsters. Inside the box was a video tape. You can set a tape, tape, tapped in, wait. Insert the tape into the VCR and Pegasus' face popped out of the screen. Must have been 3D. I had to take a drink of my Coca Cola. Greetings, little Yugi. I'm actually in Pegasus. I've heard some terribly insane things about you. The impressive defeat of Cell Kaiba intrigues me so much that I decide to inter investigate your amazing doing skills. Personally, right here now, we still hold a special duel. Suddenly, a strange and arcane magic froze time and so that no one can move except for Yugi. This dark dimension your inn is known as the Shadow Realm, a mystical place where the incredible monsters can where incredible monsters can be summoned, and the uh, impossible is quite possible. Tell me, do you believe there's magic in, in these cards? Don't you know? You invented the game. What if I told you I didn't? I was waiting for him to call me, Yugi boy. Huh? In ancient times, the Egyptian card this the Shadow Game. Powerful fails would hold mystical duels in other uh, dimensions, just as we're doing now. But instead of cards, they battle with real monsters and real magic. The magical forces were so powerful that Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed the entire world. So I have a smiley face about that, Pegasus. It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. There's real as your hairstyle, Yugi. Which is a bizarre hairstyle. <laughs> These monsters are very real, and also quite dangerous, Yugi boy. There we go. You really are quite entertaining. That way you scowl and sneer, and so defined, defend, and yet helpless, and so completely arrogant of the power of your Moyam puzzle. You look down on puzzle that roll around his neck. The power of my puzzle? 5,000 years ago, the power of Pharaoh locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in seven mystical Moyam items. Seven items? You're saying that my puzzle is one of them? Yes, and these are uh, mystical energies. Lactic pain and magic could change your life forever. You only knew how to unleash it. You never see much of the William scale in the series. After the two duel, it seemed that Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to do make before he did. Despite this disadvantage, Yugi mustered all his skill and nearly won, but Yugi was out of time when the, when the time limit passed. I have taken the method measure of your talent of your talent this day, Yugi Moto. And when next we do or we shall play at, at far higher stakes. I'm done with your games. Tisk tisk. You presume I'm giving you a choice in the matter. I'm not, for I also possess one of the seven Malayam Islands, the all powerful Malayam I The Malayam a Malayam I That's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the a true extent of its magic. I have found that given the proper incentive, anyone can force play my game. The power of Malayam I lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. Yugi can only watch in horror. Yugi! Grandpa! We will do again, Yugi. How else will you, you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? Yugi had no choice but to pee and Pegasus do his camp torment so that he could get his grandfather's soul back. At Duel's Kingdom, each duelist was given two starships, which they could wager against other duelists on the island. Whoever earned starship, ten starships gained enter entry into the tournament finals. 
where they would compete for a free million grand prize and the chance to do a Pegasus against himself. For his first story, he faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a duelist who he had a bit of history. While riding in the boat with Duelist Kim, Weevil took you use Quest's Zoya cards and threw them away in the ocean. Whatever well, you count as history, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. Also, if anyone did it to my Zoya cards, I would be so tech. So when Yugi spied Weevil on Iron, he chased after him into the woods. Welcome to- Welcome, said the spider to the fly. You flew away into my trap. It's time to answer for destroying my exotic cards, Weevil. Yu-Gi-Oh! Can't you let by bygones be bygones? Hehehe. <laughs> Weevil, it's time to find out if you're good at doing as you are as one away. I was simply one away. I will all cleverly weave you into my webs. It's time to do all! Weevil's going down. I choose paper! Aw. I don't, know why I, go first. I don't know why I always like going first. There's a disadvantage going first because they change the rules so the first player doesn't draw off on the first turn. Which is um, this game follows a new rule. Then both players can have a field spell on the field at the same time. Uh, let's get rid of his field spell. Because we do 500 points of damage of each turn that passes. Okay. So then, Mammoth Graveyard. And he'll attack. Please don't be Manny a bug. It's Manny the bug! Darn it! I just wish it wasn't. Uh. Oh, cards do not help me to stay. I did not notice I found out the hard cards, why it was said in the Japanese version. It was not that big of a thing in the Japanese version. He mentioned like once and never really again. Or I like the dub brought it back up some sometimes. Just it would feel weird if they never brought talked about it. Something here. These are very like classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards right here. Here, like you won't see too many people using these cards anymore. Maybe because a lot of me can't match up to some of the newer cards. I remember the first season of the original AMA, the rules were so crazy. I don't think they, I think they were still figuring out the rules of the card game. I just remember being, watching, watching them now and being like, you can't do that. That's not how you play. Ooh. Palmer's Ace and Sweet. I think about now, maybe I should have waited, because while well, I know that could be another thing, I need a bug. He just told me it's not, nah, I don't just, I didn't just waste my power on Come forth! Gaia, the Dragon Champion! Not just champion, but a Dragon Champion! Um, let's see. Uh, let's leave him on attack mode for now. So I can beat Weevil for the recording stops. Stuart Soldier of Vain Light doesn't help. <laughs> and that's how that card is, it doesn't do damage too. I guess the you just keep stalling and you have more light points, they'll eventually just do your opponent. <laughs> yeah, kill your opponent, basically. Oh, that's me and I feel spell field. Go increase his bugs. Attack points. I have a card. Got some McDonald's of all places. They sometimes get my new cards, and that's fan of limited edition card. Makes me think that kid in the anime who you gave that card to as a trick. So I've been a little grateful, I guess, because I mean, apparently it's limited edition. Yeah, they eat him with him, so they won't be a destroy him, so best way to attack him. But I sold the Ravine Light. Okay. I might be able to possibly win in the next couple of turns. Playing the card. Oh, sweet. Good card. Let's 
see the defense. Invest this again. Come forth. Gaia, the fierce knight. If he makes the next one fast, I can probably actually beat him for the time on that one. Oh, one card is As long as it's not like Mania Bug, I'm about to win this. Ooh, Cleavo! Save yeah, him in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. Oh, no, okay, Ooh, okay. I was gonna say, oh, card is I'm like, oh, it's Gaia attacking. And you lose, Levo, and just in time. As Jay Yuki says, that's game. Long you, your generation? I don't care. It's over. I've won. No, no, impossible! My moth is unbeatable! You never summoned him. <laughs> that was quick. Got some lords. And next time, we'll take on my bad times and the hoppy lady. See you next time.